stand. If you can stand, stand. Amen. We're going to sing a few songs to the Lord. Amen. He looked at me up from the
Ini masakan umur sepuluh tahun. Haleluya. Let's sing a chorus. Higher, higher. Lord Jesus. Amen. And then one of our own of the Lumpetti cats that you jump high. Let's sing it higher, higher. Higher, higher.
Lord Jesus, that you are moving when I say that you move with the prophet. Lord, let us not become denominations of ourselves or anything, but let us be open, Lord Jesus, and appreciating everything that you're doing. Father God, we are looking forward this morning once again to hear your prophet.
thumbs up. Three down. Three thumbs up. Three, three down. Als ze er ook in was, als ze er ook op is, wil Douza op straat zijn. Hij zei dat hij zo voor Douza. Dan maar dan maar goed. Herman, thanks for your
You can read afterwards 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18. Wherefore we comfort one another with these words. Amen. Psalm 198 is coming soon. Amen. In these the closing days of time, what joy the glorious hope affords that soon, O oh, wondrous truth sublime, he shall reign King of kings and Lord of lords. The
bless you, saints. Amen. Okay, we'll try to sing without uh, the mic, amen, so that our voices can play together. Amen. Amen.
Brother John, I'm kindly asking for the church to pray for me. I have been having bad dreams of snakes coming out of my body and things coming out of my prayer. I decline and I believe and trust in God that is going to deliver me today. Amen. And, uh, I pray for my neighbor, Mr. Ita, who is, who is uh, suffering with a stroke that might have worked work again. And please pray for my family. For the future, may you just come up and lay your hands. Can we close our eyes and we are one accord? So we can pray for it. Let's pray together. Dear precious Heavenly Father, mighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, Lord, the mighty healer. Amen. You are having the healing attributes. You are having the deliverance attributes. But there was no one to deliver. There was no one to heal. And here we are, Lord. Father God, they need deliverance. And we need healing. Amen. We need a touch of your hands. Yes, Lord. We are 100% sure that you are more than able to do this. And you have done it before. You have done it yesterday. You will do it again today. Father, we come with confidence. We are praying, bringing this request before your presence. That have been mentioned by type and by name, by specifics, but you know beyond those specifics. Then that have not been mentioned by specifics here in the hearts of the believers. You promised us, Lord, and your promise can never fail. So what we are here doing, we are bringing the promise into action. We are only activating that you have given us already. We are not bringing anything new, Lord. We are just making the dynamics for the God of that mechanics we have put in place. And we can't do it ourselves unless you, the master, bring your hand and we have the touch of the master's hand. We pray, Lord, we are the God that can be touched by the feeling of our infinity. And we bring these requests. We don't care how big they are. We don't care how long it has been. We don't care. When it has come, the same devil was defeated with cowboys. And we are here as beneficiaries of the resurrection to claim for the God Almighty what belongs to us. And therefore, we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise for what you have already done. Because you say, In that day, you shall ask and you shall have it. We have done, it shall be done. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord King Jesus. As we pray, be with all of us. And all shall say, Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. As we take up the tithes and offerings, we must come from our soul. We give a little bit of a car key to our stars. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song. The Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Di Alleluia Tre Alleluia Tre Ehi
once more again, we are really grateful. Amen. We know and we believe, Father, you are here. We can't afford to miss to see you in this meeting. Father, we have gathered under such a great anticipation because we trust that you are going to do great wonders once more. Amen. Thing this morning, Father, oh, sick can be healed this Amen. morning. Yes, yes, I believe this tithe and offerings, Father, I just dedicated to the veterans of the gospel, Father. Those that have come giving their hearts, Father, be your blessing in heaven, Father, as well. Everything that will be done in this service, Father, you will be done unto your glory and honor. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, believe it. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for the word of God? Yes. Amen. Amen. So we are just coming. Amen. Amen. We pray the atmosphere yes, this morning. Amen. Amen. Give me a seat, brother. Give me a seat. Amen. Amen. You love this man. People wonder, why do you worship this man? Why do you worship this man? I don't want to worship my brother. I worship God in you. I give over to our two pastors. They want one mic, one mic here. <laughs> Let's see that song. Let's see, brother. Amen. Oh, can you see?
coming ahead of us, Lord. We thank you. We pray as we give you the glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, asking every request to be given in Jesus' name. Bless the scriptures, bless the preaching and the hearing. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Um, just want to read maybe Joel chapter chapter one. Want to read from this one? Joel chapter one. Want to start from this one? The Bible reads: The word of the Lord that came to Joel the son of Hathor, hear this ye all men, and give ear all you inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers, tell your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children in another generation, that which the palmer when had left to have the locust eaten, and that which the locust had left to have the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm Yet left yet the caterpillar eaten, awake ye drunkards and weep, and how you, O oh, you drunkards of, uh, drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. Amen. Amen. Then we want to go to chapter 2 from verse 25, it says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker wind and the caterpillar, Amen. and the power wind. Great army which I send among you. Amen. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that you do wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon your flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall drink great, your young men shall see vision. Let us go to Acts chapter 1 again. We want to read verse 8. Amen. Someone said, Praise the Lord. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and under the uttermost part of the earth. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word that we have just read. Father, we have done our part. We wait for the fulfillment of the whole. Same way by the manifestation of your spirit which will feel your presence. Come, Lord, and you have the preeminence. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Amen. I want to talk on just a simple subject, not very complicated. You know, the Bible says when Jesus was here on earth, common people hate him gladly. Your volume is not yet to where it's supposed to be. Common people hear him gladly. And I believe we are just common people who must hear him gladly. We must rejoice in the coming of the word. When the word is coming forth, we receive the word with our amen, with our hallelujahs. Just just remove the echo and put the volume on maximum. Remove the face, the echo, and all that. Uh, when the word is coming forth, uh, it's not. It's not. I don't know what's, what's happening, but I think it will work out well. To work out well. When the word is coming forth, we should not just stay at the preacher. Amen. 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 We should receive it with joy. Amen. How many are going to do that today? Amen. How many are going to do that this morning? Amen. Amen. Yesterday you were doing very well. Amen. Yesterday you were participating well. Amen. Yesterday I saw God working among us. May we do the same what we did yesterday so that we have the same results and even more. For he's more than able to do exceedingly more than what we can ask him to give us. I saw people receiving the Holy Spirit. I saw people under the power of the Holy Ghost. But I want to say this, friends. Uh, I 
know some of these things are kind of like a little bit new to you, but uh, just watch the preacher and to give you the signal. Amen. Some way shaking people Amen. who are under the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Don't do right. that. Leave them. Just monitor them. Watch the attitude of the preacher. Deacons, ministers, just watch the attitude of the preacher. It's the word which is causing those things. So just watch from where the word is coming from to see. Sometimes you can you can rebuke the Holy Ghost thinking it's a demon when it's the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you bless a demon thinking it's the Holy Ghost. This is why we need in the church that discernment of spirits. Do you understand this? You know, the Holy Ghost is not the author of confusion. That's why it's called the Holy Spirit. I've seen the Holy Ghost come and struck a woman with a little baby. Nothing wrong. The baby will not be harmed by no way. It's the Holy Spirit. Some they can be struck by the Holy Ghost and they are just like as a dead man. Don't pour water on them. Let them alone. Just keep on yielding yourself. Unless it is a gym. Where sometimes they are violent. But the Holy Ghost is just like on time. I have seen so many times when evil spirits come out and people want to fight me. They come right there. So many times it happened there in South Africa. I was there. Another girl was demon possessed. She came there. And she was saying, Chinamasa, you see what you're causing now? I was preaching on the baptism of the Holy Ghost and all that. I was saying, my subject was, God will do it again. What is done in the past, will do it again. And I was saying, the Holy Ghost will come back again. And that, right at that time, when the Holy Ghost was almost to strike everyone, that demon was very angry. And said, you see what you're now causing? You see now what you're causing things to happen in this church? I don't want this Holy Ghost to be here to happen. But that's the Holy Ghost that brings to you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, yes. This one is good. Then put off your fingers. Get off your hands from that thing. <laughs> so, she began to be violent. But right at that time, my wife was there and some deacon brother was there. But the first time when I was in that church, I was almost beaten by some demons there. But this time I was almost beaten thrice. But the Holy Ghost was just in charge. And God protects his servants. So just be around and monitor. You see, you, you don't know what it is. When someone is rejoicing under that power of the Holy Ghost and you shake them to bring them out, that experience will never come back. On the name of that sense, if you oh, who was this now who came to touch me when I was having my wonderful time and praising the Lord? Remember, imagine you are eating very nice food and you are holding a very big piece, and this maybe it's a tea bone, maybe it's a rib, and you are really enjoying it. Then somebody just comes and say, Pile it away from you like this. Imagine what you feel. So we must know and understand these things. Be alert, Jacobs, be alert, ministers. But uh, let's also be spiritual. You see, the Holy Ghost yesterday was working so perfect. I was here, and some demons were coming up there. The Holy Ghost just said, Go and rebuild this. And I went, I did. The time I came to the pastor and said, I think the person must make right this, and that is it. That's exactly the truth. That was the Holy Ghost. And once the devil is exposed, yes. he's defeated. Amen. You hear someone speaking tongues? Wait. Be reverent. Be quiet. Be in prayer silently. Oh Lord, speak to me. Pass me that old gentle Amen. 
You hear that like the tongues are not interpreted. Why can't you pray and say, Lord, how can you just come here and go away? Yeah. If the trumpet gives uncertain sound, how do we prepare for war? To hear the interpretation come forth. Then after the interpretation, that's when you can say, Praise the Lord. Not when it's still going on your feet, doing this. What if the interpretation say, the prophet say, be careful, there are soldiers there with guns to shoot you. And your feet, you'll be shot dead. But God has already warned you. The prophet says, the Holy Ghost may come and say, tell brother so and so to move away from his house because he's close to the railway line. The, the train is going to get off the track. And tell you to move away from the house. And it will happen. Now we are busy making noise when it's going forth. And you go and sit there and you take your garden chest and you, you fold your legs and up there. The train comes and smashes you out. Then later on you notice God and warn you. Spiritual things, spiritually desired. But I want to thank God. Yesterday I was almost gone. Eh? I was gone. We were busy enjoying food. The sister, uh, a nice and good, nice food, brother. And we were really enjoying on the table. Somehow, I don't know how it happened. I missed to chew the bone. And it was to the other end, was very sharp. Then it just went and crossed right here. So, and it was piercing at the other side. So I said to the people, I am choked. I swallowed the bone. So the pastor thought I was joking. My wife thought I was joking. So I stood up. I think I had a drink in the glass. I, I told them, oh, nothing happened. I said, can I have some water? The sister, one of the sisters, the twin sister came, came with the water and she was trying to, to do this, you know. Uh, it was no time for that to do this. <laughs> I really needed someone just to throw that out of water. And I tried to take it back. I began to say in my heart, Lord, help me. The Bible says that. Present help in the time of trial. When I said that, something said, tell the pastor to call Dr. Chikoro there. Because I could not talk to the phone with him. I didn't know what was becoming of me. I began to think a lot of things. So I just said, call Dr. Chikoro. As I was going up there to the bathrooms, and I was just praying in my heart, I said, Lord, help me. I began to think if the doctor comes, will I still be alive? And if they take me, I didn't want them to cut my neck to take the thing out. I could feel that I'm going. <laughs> so I went there, and the pastor called the doctor, and the doctor was also performing another operation somewhere. It was too late for him to come. So he told him what to do and he followed me the bathroom there. I don't know what he was doing there. Then I began to throw up. I don't know whether that thing came out or it went down. So and I I didn't want to do anything. Uh, the chair was determined yesterday. I began to think how oh, my wife is going to carry the coffin to sing with the children and I began to think if they cut my neck, just, I, I was not going to be here preaching if they had to. But you know, God is our refuge and strength. I'm not joking, I was God. So when we went for the breakfast, I tried to eat them. I felt that thing yeah. Yeah, I still need prayers. Yeah. But I'm out of danger. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The devil is a liar. Yeah. And the prophet says the devil can do nothing. Yeah. And nothing will ever take my life until God is finished with me. I'm still here. And I'm here today in the name of Jesus Christ to please the Lord. Yeah. Nothing will ever take your life away yeah. until God is done with you.
of God. And I'm here to preach. I'm here to finish my course. I'm here to finish my mission. The preacher came here now. I'm here to finish it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm speaking on restoration time. I will be stuck. I 
yourself when you have left of your eyes, you go to report to the police. It's not you who look for the thief. It's the police duty to look for the thief. And the press, you report your case to Jesus Christ. You report your case to the Lord. You report your case. And the Holy Ghost is the police officer. The Holy Ghost is the police action to enforce the restoration. To enforce the law. Bring it back. 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 Thank you. 
l'esprit de professeur. Vous aurez le droit d'Afrique. 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 Je vais vous parler de vous. Yes! I will restore, says the Lord. I will restore, says the Lord. I will restore, yes. If God has made it, was he who got the sickness of this yes? He was sent by Jesus Christ. Seven power, seven principles, seven miracles, seven healing. I will restore. The Lord will walk. The Lord will rise again. The people will walk again. I will restore to you the years. Oh, the years. Oh, the years. Count it up. And God says, I will restore to you the years. How many years? How many years have been sick? How many years have been without a job? How many years have been without a child? How many years without peace? How many years? How many years? How many years? How many years without a person?
四个特别照片。
want. And write it in your diary if you want. And count the years of sorrow of your suffering. If you can remember when you started to be sick, what the hell you are going to enjoy after this? Those legs that are too heavy that you can't lift, you are going to dance here.
You know, when the prophet went to Finland and the dead boy was raised back to life, the Finns and the Russians, they threw their guns and hugged each other. They forgot they were in a war. When they saw the power of God, they forgot they were enemies. And they hugged each other. They are captains and commanders with surprise. Seeing soldiers in different uniforms of hockey. Uh, come on, hug your brother. Come on, hug your sister. Brother to brother, sister to sister.
I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So how can you think say good morning, honey? Yeah. When your husband greeted you, why did you keep quiet? Uh, then you answer me. Uh, I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you can't do that to your husband. The new husband, your wife cooks for you. Gets your clothes ready, iron them. Everything. You also want to also say good morning. Why can't you do it? Why can't you start? You can't even say thank you for the food. Thank you for ironing my shirt. Thank you for taking care of the children. Yeah. It's the little things that get you done that makes us say the Amen. You only call the pastor when you when you're in trouble. Just to say, Pastor, how are you? Thank you for a nice service. Amen. Life of 
of Jesus Christ. Not the life of Gina Master. If I go out of the country, when I come back, I come with little chocolates and sweets, and I stand by the door and give it every one of them. And it cost me a hundred of US dollars uh. to give everyone this little church, just to teach them to give. Word that day I the Word same, you think I'm sure. because of man that I, I come there by air, I come and give you chocolates, every one of you, not just children, even elder. Amen. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Those that come and receive them, the but some of them I give them shirts and things just to teach them by life. You know, you could not outgive, brother Brown. Yeah. They say if you could give him something, he would find a way to give you times. You could not outgive him. Give them back. 
give the bed their children. Think about it. Yeah. Think about it. That's right. Yeah. God doesn't want your change. He wants your first to feed. Don't put your change in the pocket. Yeah, that's what the message people doesn't want to hear. It's more pleasure to give than to receive.
Yes. From paragraph 43 in the message, 610808. Friends, 61, search it by that way. 61, 1961-0808. Paragraph 43. Did you find it first? Then the prophet says, Now, you understand what I mean. See, it's by faith we do everything. It's by faith we do everything. Not by might, not by our ability. That's wrong with this. Paragraph 43. Yeah, it is special. You have it? We want to see it. <laughs> right. Paragraph 43. Now, you understand what I mean. If by faith we do everything, made by man, it's by faith we do everything. Not by education. It's by faith that we do everything. Not by the bank account. By faith. Not by a good job. There are people with good jobs here but nothing. Now it's by faith that we do everything. Believe on the Lord. Believe on the Lord for a job. Those without jobs have come to give you jobs. Receive your job from where you are right there. You at least you got your portion. And you pay your tithe. You pay your tithe. We don't need to bring a sermon or pay tithe. It's by faith we do everything. Believe on the Lord. Believe on the Lord for the job. Believe on the Lord to hunt. When I say this in Zim, you know my pastor, pastor Chris is a hunter. He was in the UK and I was preaching in church in Haran. And his son, I pointed at him, I said, you are a hunter, is it? You want a game? I said, receive it. Amen. Then the pastor came after a week, he just came up to me and said, I'm tired. Joe, my son, can we go hunting? He didn't want to go there, he just said, can I refuse that? Then they took their gun, they went. The moment they got in that camp park, the pastor shot the buffer. And the son said, Daddy, Pastor Chinamasa gave me the game when he was preaching. Amen. And he led from the court, then he showed him. The moment he shot the buffer, the man began to come here. It was God given. Provided in the same. But you see, I did not notice that the prophet was not talking about game. No. He wanted to say, to hunt, to give you the wife that you should be. Then he says, believe on the Lord to give you the husband you should marry. Did you see it, sisters? Come here, let me show you. Come. There, believe. Right? Just tell. No, there. Tell. Right there. Yes. Start. Believe on the Lord to give you the husband. Do you see him there? You must 
happy. And yet the rapture is so close. Let's do a quick job. Yeah. 
Amen. I had a hard time last the first time I came to Peter said, Lord, why? He said, it's a desert. Uh, uh, but the desert shall cross. Can I tell you something? You are no more what you were. What I have seen. And he told me with the grandma 
than the art. And I began to preach. They were like this. And I began to preach. Now I, myself, I'm a rough preacher. Ah, I, I, I can write penetrate through a wall. And sometimes I preach without even looking at your face. I don't even care. And I began to preach. I wrote my sleeves and what I did yesterday. I took off my pie. And I began to preach. I always wanted to take off the shoes again. And I began to preach. I began to hit the devil. I began to fight him. I began to fight him. And I kept on fighting. And he's coming back. And I'm fighting. And I'm rebuking. I began to hit with him. I began to hit it. As I hit him, the devil is moving back. He's moving back. And I'm fighting.
happen like when you go to hunt and you have got a good job there a man will be saying sicky boy sicky boy sicky boy and you just pass and say sicky boy we hit that out there you say sicky boy that's where the problem is sicky boy please pass that 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 give us more give us more give us more
but we have discernment of spirits in the church today. I'm coming to my subject that preacher attacked the fruits which is the gifts of the spirit. It's the same creature that changed before and went to attack the fruits from the tree because it's determined to paralyze the tree. Then the fruits were gone. No more gifts operated. Then it was done. It went to attack the back which is the doctrine of the church. I suffer not women to preach. Amen. Women should dress in modesty. Men marry one wife, one husband, baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That doctrine, once you take the bark out from the tree, it dries right there and is dead. Because the bark yields the sap to come from the roots and go to the leaves. And when it attacked the back, then it went to jump off the step. But then when the life went and it went deep in the roots. That's predestination.
the message of the prophet. When the prophet says, say what the text say, he meant you preach it the way it was preached yes. on the table. Yes. You say exactly what the text says. Amen. Preach in the revelation of the message of the hour. Amen. It's not a repetition of quotations. Amen. It's rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. 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 Otherwise, we just have to come here to come and read the Bible and we are reading an office for Genesis and Revelation. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> what does the Bible say? Huh? Some take away gifts of the Spirit, and today the same Spirit is taking away the fivefold. Yet the Bible says in Ephesians 4, verse 8, Wherefore he said, when he ascended on high, he led captivity, gave and gave keys unto me. When he ascended on high, he left your David captain and he gave some apostles. When he ascended on high, he left your David captain and he gave some teachers. When he ascended on high, he left your David captain and he gave some teachers, some pastors. After that, kings, miracles, healings, signs and wonders, divine healing, healings. When he ascended on high, Amen. Now, I said a moment ago, the fourth vine came into full fruition in this age. The fruit would mature and ripen, that is correct. This evil spirit church full of iniquity will be reviewed as the master seed that grow into a tree where it lodged the force of the air. And he head will be the antichrist, the mystery of iniquity. All this is true. And if this is true, then it must also be true that the bright church will mature. For his message, for his 
message will the hearts of the children be taken back to the Pentecostal Father. I have a 
accomplishments. Yes, sir. Thank you. What we have been waiting for and looking for. Yes. There's a man here who can turn on the light of your life. There's a man here. The angels of God are in the building. That's the pillar of fire.
to this word, not take from it or add to it. For you who would speak where God has not spoken makes him a liar. What I have practically in mind is this, about the turn of the century, the hunger for God that was generated in the Philadelphia age brought a cry for the Spirit of God. And when the cry was answered by God sending for the manifestation in tongues, interpretation and prophecy, a group immediately and most contrary to the word drew up a doctrine that tongues was the evidence of being baptized with the Holy Ghost. Tongues were far from evidence. They were manifestations but not evidence. The falsity of the doctrine cannot only be seen by a lack of scripture to sustain it. But those who subscribed to the doctrine immediately organized on the basis of the doctrine proving that they were not in the truth as they would get people believe. Oh, it looked good. It looked like the return of Pentecost. But it proved it wasn't. It could not be for it organized. That is death, not life. It looked so close to the view that multitude were deceived. Now, if it wasn't the genuine, what was it? It was the husk, the chaff in the green, soft shit form. It looked like it was the real thing. But as one can go into the field and see what looks exactly like wheat and yet is only the husk. For the wheat seed has not yet formed. So this was but the soft shell that looked like the real grain yet to come. The original wheat seed of Pentecost was to come back in the last age. It had been buried at Nicaea. It set up a shoot at Sardis. It grew a tassel in Philadelphia and it was to mature to Claudicia and here we are friends. But it could not be back to the original until the word was restored. Hallelujah, said the prophet. The prophet had not yet come upon the scene. But now, according to the time wherein we stand in the Laodicean age, the prophet messenger of the Revelation 10 7 must already be in the land. Once more, says the Lord, must be here, ready to be manifested with the unfavorable vindication. Thus is the true seed already maturing. And then the harvest is done.
Do you not believe? Oh,
with our heads bowed. The way this been preached in the power. And the Lord has done something for us tonight. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. If you have given your life to the Lord in this meeting, or you want to give your life to the Lord, I want to invite you. While the atmosphere is still good, that you can just come here at the altar. We want to pray for you and help you how to get yourself to the right track with the Lord. Everybody that has given their lives or those that want to give their life, even if you were delivered, those that were delivered from evil spirits, you need to put your life in order so that those spirits do not come back to you anymore. I want to invite you just come forward here and kneel here at the altar. There is ministers that can pray for you. Please come at the altar. It is space Come beside all over here. Even those of you who are delivered, those of you whose who have spirits that were cast out of your life, you need to put your life in order. Come at the altar and you can be prayed for and you can find your track back to the Lord. The rest of us, let's close our eyes. Let's be in prayer. Let's be interceding for those that are here and say, Lord, help those people that are there, the older, touch their lives. Help them to find you like I found you. Where God took you from, that's where you want to take them to. Let's be in that atmosphere. Let's be in prayer. The Holy Spirit is here. God is still moving in the hearts of the people. Come to the altar. Even if you want to renew your life, maybe you have gone back. You only came to church this Sunday. But you want to come back to the Lord and say, I want to come back. And you start going to church again. You can also come. While well, the Lord is still here, His Spirit is working. Let's come. Don't miss the day of your visitation. That's what the Lord has said in this meeting. He said, this is the day of your visitation. Do not miss it. Don't miss the opportunity. The way that is called heresy, that's how God saves. The way that is despised by the world, that's the way of salvation. The way that people are ashamed of, that is the way of salvation. Come to the order they is facing. Let's sing that song, pass me not. Oh, gentle Savior, while the ministers continue praying for the people that are here, whoever want, even if you have, you know, you are a and you want to come back to the Lord, this is your opportunity to say, Lord, I want to renew my vow with you. I used to serve you before. I used to be on fire. This was my message of restoration. Lord, you have come to restore me, that I can go back to sonship. You have lost the joy of your salvation. He said, Lord, I have lost the joy of my salvation. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Create in me a clean heart, O God. He is here. Let's be in prayer where you are. Pray for these people.
we don't have enough on the medical to express our joy this afternoon. For all that you have done for us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, we are reminded in the Bible of our mighty God, the Apostle Peter, John, our mighty God, and James of us. Yes. When they ascended on Mount of Mighty God, Transfiguration of the Lord. Yes. Father, us such a tremendous time, Almighty God. Amen. They could not have any way to say, but just to say, Lord, Amen. if it be possible, we would have made our table and abide here. How do you feel, Almighty God? Continue, Almighty God. Almighty God is this place, so Father. But however, Father, we have to depart, Almighty God. Amen. But we know, Lord, Father God, that is the anointing of Father that has been used to see Lord. Each and every individual shall carry it to Father. Each and every individual shall carry it to the Father. Each and every individual shall carry it to the Father. Let our God, Almighty God, and Father God, and say it with others, O oh Father, Almighty God. Father, we thank you, Father, this afternoon for every blessing. We thank you for healing. We thank you for baptism of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Almighty God, for the heaven of the Lord, O oh Father. Father, may you be so that that true, may your mighty God, even Father, when the devil try to fight him, O God, this big healing, O Father, hear Lord Almighty God, I thank you, Almighty God, for the ministers, O Mighty God, for the churches, O Father, for the elders, O Mighty God, O Brother, thank you, Father, for the supporting ministers, O Father, thank you, Almighty God, for the fans, that have gone out, O Mighty God, for the elders, O Father, for every prayer, Yeah. 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 Yeah.